Whitefish Chain of Lakes, providing a little historical context. History 101. The logging industry years ago had a significant impact on what we now know and enjoy today as the Whitefish Chain of Lakes. We will step you through a timeline of dates and events that shaped our community as we know it today. Enjoy the journey. The year is 1801, and we remember the bloody ice battle on Cross Lake between the Ojibwe and Sioux. It has been recorded that the water was literally blood red as the ice melted in the spring. 1836. French geographer Joseph Nicolet travels through Whitefish Lake on his quest to find the mouth of the Mississippi River, 50 years before the Pine River Dam at Cross Lake was built. 1870. The first homestead was constructed in Watertown Township for the Amy Gould family, present-day Cross Lake. 1885 to 1886. During this period, the Pine River Dam was designed and built, constructed of timber. 1888 to 1912. These were the most active years of the Cross Lake logging operation. Millions of feet of timber were brought into town and dumped into Cross Lake for the journey through the Pine River Dam, and then down the Pine River to the Mississippi River and point south for milling. The Cross Lake logging camp had accommodations for up to 1,400 men. 1905 to 1907. The Pine River Dam at Cross Lake was rebuilt with concrete to address structural concerns with the original timber construction. The impact of the dam resulted in a higher water level, creating channels between existing lakes and forming the Pine River Reservoir, which is better known as the Whitefish Chain of Lakes. This 14,000-plus acre body of water with over 100 miles of shoreline provides recreational water sport opportunity for all. 1920s. The economic transition from logging to lodging continues throughout this period. The desire to catch a big fish or shoot a trophy buck motivated many to visit the region. 1929. The Manhattan Beach Hotel opens. Stories of gangsters and gambling during this period continue to be shared to this day. 1933. Moonlight Bay. The landmark dance hall opens. The original building is destroyed by fire in 1984. 1952. The first gas station is built in Cross Lake, a Texaco station. Throughout the 50s, we enter a new economic era of tourism. We see many lake resorts opening up across the whitefish chain of lakes. 2002. The Pine River Dam at Cross Lake was once again remodeled with leaf gates, and the height was raised as well. 2008. Fire destroys the exchange restaurant and bar in Cross Lake. 2021. The National Loon Center opens for business. Knowing where we have come from helps us understand the importance of educating the community and conserving what we have today. Yes, we have come a long way, from log picking in the 1880s to paddle boarding in the 2020s, and we greatly anticipate our next experience. We want to send a shout out to the Cross Lake Historical Society for all they do. Thank you. Please let us know your thoughts at whitefishchain.com or on Instagram at whitefishchainpodcast. As always, be safe and healthy, Whitefish Chain friends.